My name is Peter Gohery. I'm with the IFA National Council rep with Galway IFA and I was contacted by numerous of the residents along this route, the N63 here in Abbey Nockmai, namely Ned Burns, Michael Michal Finn and Marie Goggins. I had one or two residents call me up and they were actually in tears where they weren't getting uh, right answers. They were being fobbed from Billy to Jack and it kept being thrown around to talk to this person, talk to that person. I believe, you know, this is a precedence that needs to be set down now that we don't want this to affect any other farmers in the future. We need to sit down, we need to talk to Galway County Council, we need to talk to the construction company. The fencing you see, one lady asked, there were stone walls taken out, and one lady asked for an equine fence. The fobbed her off and told her that the equine fence would be poisonous towards her stock. Give me a break lads, you know, why are we doing things like this to women? Hi, I'm Marie Goggins. Hi, I'm Michal Finn. Hi, I'm Ned Burns and I'm a resident here in Abnachmai. I live on a family farm and it's been in the family since, on well, this stretch of road anyway, since 1912. Personally, we're actually a little uh, disappointed and upset at um, how the roadworks have actually been carried out and are being carried out at present. We find that there is um, a lack of communications. Um, origi information originally communicated to us um, June 2016 um, about the height of the road was increased about four inches. We've discovered now it's significantly more than that, probably closer to about a metre. We have issues um, during bad weather um, getting in and out of the property, um, both accessing land through farm gates, etc. Um, I just find it um, a little bit um, poor, perhaps, on the part of the council who were who were who paid us regular visits prior to the road scheme actually starting. To find out that what's actually happening on the ground now is quite different, and it's rare for us to actually see them. And we've had a council member out at the end of November, but we haven't actually heard any updates from them since then, and it is a pressing issue for us. Feel that the property has um, been, in our opinion, destroyed. Um, stuff that our parents would have built over the years and actually um, put a personal and family feel on. Actually, it's in it's totally fencing, fencing they put in standard fencing. We've repeatedly asked since even before the roadwork started for equine fencing and even for a double fence, just to ensure that the livestock remains in the property and doesn't actually escape. worried about um, what the future holds. I'm a resident here and a landowner with the last oh, nearly, oh, nearly, oh, nearly 60 oh, years now. They, they, they took a wall that was 130 years long or 140 years long. That was six foot high and they left a mangy fence along the road with wood. In, in our old farm, then, there was a, a small cattle crush, which was completely self-contained. The, the, the cattle crush, walls, everything, nothing could escape out of it. They came along, they took the schooling gate and the, the, the spit of the front wall, left the rest of it. That uh, uh, four months, four months ago, we are left now with with uh, uh, with the land. With, 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 with no cattle crush, no facilities to catch an, an animal, we have to put them out into a neighbour's, which is practically illegal. I can't understand their, their, their thinking, or have we, have we in this day and age to put up with this? This wouldn't happen in a third world country.